everyone. Welcome back to Proactive New York. I'm Christine Corrado. With me right now is John Farlinger, CEO at Assure Holdings. John, great to meet you. How are you? Very good, thank you. John, for our investors watching, can you please give us an introduction to the company? All right. Uh, hello, my name is John Farlinger. I'm the CEO of Assure Holdings Corporation. We're a provider of interoperative neurophysiological monitoring services and professional neurologist oversight services. We operate out of Denver, Colorado. Can you just give us some details into how neuromonitoring works? Yes. Um, our business is really focused around putting an interoperative neuromonitoring technologist into the operating room and providing a neurologist who works remotely. Their job is to work with the surgeon and the surgical team to make sure that there is not a neural deficit during surgery. What that means is we're making sure that the patient, the patient's safety and is really maintained and that the doctor doesn't cut a neural gateway, the anesthetic is working properly, and we're looking at the effectiveness and efficiency of neural gateways during surgery. So what, I guess, is the standard of care right now, and how does your technique improve this? this? This is really the standard of care during any type of invasive surgery in the United States. It's commonly used in spine surgery, orthopedic surgeries, neurosurgeries, particularly around the brain and the head. It's more commonly being used now in ENT and vascular, particularly open heart surgeries. Last year, over 1.4 million surgeries took place using this type of technology and service. So where do you have existing partnerships right now? Yes, we started in Denver, Colorado, which is really where our corporate office is. And that the business started in 2016. We did an RTO and went public on the TSX Venture Exchange in 17. And then over the last two, two plus years, we've expanded into Utah. Texas, Louisiana, Michigan, Pennsylvania, and most recently, Arizona. Wow, lots of nice, nice growth there. I, I'm assuming the coronavirus pandemic has impacted surgeries and therefore business. Can you explain how it has impacted the business? Yeah, great question. Uh, like most businesses in healthcare, particularly those that are focused on surgeries and elective surgeries, we were impacted in March and April particularly, where we had almost a 75% downturn in elective procedures. Since then, uh, we've been able and successfully able to get back to pre-COVID numbers. And in fact, uh, a lot of these surgeries were not simply canceled, they've been deferred uh, into the latter part of this year, and we are expecting a record fourth quarter as a result of the demand, the built up demand for these surgeries. So you are expecting a good amount of growth as you end as as you head towards your end. Yes, and that's it's almost a normal course. Uh, the fourth quarter is always our best quarter, as individuals try to take advantage of deductibles at the end of the year, and so December is usually always a record month for us. What other milestones are you looking forward to besides this increase in revenue? Well, I think this year. It will be a record number of procedures. We're forecasting to do almost 10,000 or more surgeries this year, up from 6,400 last year and up from 3,000 the year before. And we're expecting that growth to continue. Other milestones for us are really about becoming better organizationally, improving cash flow, improving profitability, and just continue our, our continued course of good organic growth and uh, making sure that continues in the next year. Seems like you are definitely on the right track here. John, great to speak with you. Thanks so much. You're welcome, a pleasure.